The Gobi Desert extends for roughly 3,000 kilometers from east to west and far south of the country, and covers approximately one-third of Mongolia, an area as big as the whole of France. The visitor is struck by the immense variety of landscapes it contains, mountains, sand dunes or clay earth cracked by the strong heat that reigns here. We have spent some time with the nomad family and got the chance to experience this people's legendary hospitality due also to their privileged relationship with the natural environment. For them, welcoming passing travelers is quite normal, even if they are strangers. Nobody has refused a hot meal, a bed to rest, a fire to keep them warm. Welcome here is really spontaneous and moving. Milk is the base of Mongolian diet. It is used to cook soups, cheese, drinks. Camel milk has a high nutritive value and Mongolians, just like any other nomad people, appreciate it quite a lot. Nomad shepherds are reluctant to sell their surplus milk, even if it is in great demand. Traditions, in fact, suggest to put it aside for important guests and the poor. Camels provide other means of support. Their dried dung is collected by children and used to light the fire inside the iron stove, found in the center of every gear. After the pleasant restoration in the gear, we continue our journey to arrive in Bayang Gobi, about 200 kilometers inside the Gobi Desert, in a wonderful oasis. Behind it stands the mountain of Altai Chain, mother and protector, that during the rigid winter saves the oasis from the blizzards. <laughs> 